In the spring of 1953, the Atomic Energy Commission and the Department of Defense conducted 11 nuclear weapon tests in Nevada under the code name Upshot Knothole. The objectives of Upshot Knothole were to test new nuclear devices, improve battlefield tactics, and to study the needs of civil defense against a Soviet attack. The first of the events, codenamed Encore, was a 27 kiloton nuclear device airdrop and detonated at about 2,800 feet above a large blast line. The second Department of Defense burst, called Grable, was detonated at the same general area, and it was delivered by the Army's new artillery cannon. A 280 millimeter projectile was fired and detonated over about the same blast area with a yield of about 15 kilotons at an altitude of about 500 feet. Now the smaller yield, 15 kilotons at 500 feet, produced a great deal more damage than had the larger yield Encore event, 27 kilotons at 2,800 feet. And that's because the smaller yield at the lower altitude produced a very abnormal waveform, which we call a precursor, which is very strong, dynamic winds, which to drag-sensitive targets produces extensive damage. For instance, a Jeep at a given level on Encore may not have been damaged at all. But on Grable, with a precursor loading, that Jeep would be completely torn to pieces and thrown down the blast line distances like 500 feet. Well, there were many other peculiarities to those two shots, but it opened up a whole new vista of how do you use nuclear weapons in a combat situation.